quite noisy, this cryo tube. Yeah, but it's all white noise. It helps you sleep. <sighs> G'day, and welcome back for more co op survival. Out you come, Kapak. Out you come. Hey, what? Oh, there you are. What? What's wrong with the bathroom? What do you mean, what's wrong Look, with the bathroom? There's, there's lightning and smoke. Well, I can't see the smoke now, but I could see the smoke from my cryopod. But there's definitely lightning. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you can see it from your cryopod. What is going on? Oh, there is lightning. Hang on. Uh, let's just fix up our thing with our helmets. There we go. The small cargo container got badly damaged. Ah. Apparently, we took a lot more fire in that little battle than I had thought. Oh, yeah, that's right. There was a big fight. Yes, you were mostly unconscious slash dead for it. Um, I'm sure I would remember something like that. That's kind of the idea that you wouldn't. So, it's still nighttime outside, and... Yep, it's real dark. Yeah, it is pretty dark. I am thinking of redesigning my missile launching area, and I think you might want to do some work on your drilling rig. Since it doesn't really fit onto the vehicle very easily. Yeah, I think the whole thing needs a revamp. So, um, what were you thinking? Um, well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> clearly you've thought it through a lot already. So, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a new drill for the drill truck. And... Yes, the question is how, not what. Uh, probably out of blocks. Um... Are you thinking of having... So the drill... The drilling that I think we should be aiming to do is just of those little boulders that we find around the place. Boulders, gotcha. Yeah, so... It's basically... The drills would need to drill out oh. stuff that's not really much higher than the... truck itself. And also not much... And wouldn't need to go deep into the ground either. Hey, this armor's all mangled. Yeah, we took a lot of bullets. Yeah, it's not safe around here. Of course not. Um, okay. Um, so I'm changing this. What? Oh. Changing it to what? To a pattern that's not so... Stegosaurus-y. But you like Stegosaurus. I've seen your Rocket League car. Yes, my rocket car is a Stegosaurus, because I got the colours tops that work, but I don't think it works for this. Hmm. Maybe I'll do this on this side. Anyway, I've gotten distracted. You were supposed to be telling me what you were gonna do with your truck. I don't know, I'm just gonna just gonna give them a a, a bottom up service. And they're gonna completely revamp them. And they'll be new one hundred percent new and improved. Uh, but we're going to need some flat ground for me to um, deploy it and then... We're actually reasonably flat here. Uh, you, you think here is a safe place to be? There is a big crater around here somewhere. Yes, as long as we don't move, we won't run into said big crater. Yeah, but what if what if a big crater runs into us? Well, then moving is not really going to change it, is it? What if some of these bad guys come looking for their friends and find out we blew them up? No bad guys are coming looking for their friends. Don't but worry. Did they blow themselves up? I think they blew themselves up. I had uh, most of those bases rigged to explode. Mm. Um, Alright, if we're going to hang around here, I guess I'll uh, guess I'll drop the lift. Uh, if I can make it to the button. Oh, that's right. This thing is pretty awkward to get off the lift. Hmm. You know what? Uh, interesting choice. Oh, I'm just gonna disassemble the, the drills here, and I'll that'll make it easier to to get out of here, and then I'll I'll start rebuilding everything. Wait, did I just hear Kapak Amaru saying that he's gonna do things the easy way? What? All right, fine. If that's how you're going to be, I'm going to drive straight through. I don't care if anything gets in the way. Oh, you're not going to be able to what reconnect. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't realize you'd done that, did you? No. I saw that you disconnected when I just had a look before. <laughs> I can reconnect, it's fine. I can use my pistons. See, I know what I'm doing. Wait, are you really gonna do things the hard way just because I told you it was so strange to see you doing things the easy way? What? I wasn't talking about doing things the hard way. I was talking about doing things the destructive way. Anyway, it's all under control. Don't you worry yourself. Oops, got that the wrong way around. Except for these stupid piston heads. What's so that? I did something that was kind of ridiculously silly in my design for the missile printer. What? Like, why would I design something that has to launch vertically and then put the welders coming in from the top? It makes um, so much more sense to have the welders underneath and then it launches vertically up from there. Yeah, that is a bit weird. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm changing it. So I'm going to put the welders in the bed of the trailer. And then I'll have rotor-mounted launching platforms for the missiles. There we go. I'm a genius. Well, not really. Oh, I reconnected my truck. You thought it couldn't be done. I proved you wrong. That is going to be so awkward when you get off the ramp. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I'll, <laughs> I'll fix it when I've got the whole thing on one level. <laughs> Why did you disconnect it in the first place? Uh, I hit handbrake because uh, I didn't want the truck to roll away. You pressed the P key? Yes. Do you want to get a handbrake on your hotbar? I have already mapped it as such. Good. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand my wheelbase so I've got more stability. I think we might need to expand the lift a little bit though. Okay. How wide are you planning on going? Oh, just, um, it should only be a block or two uh, difference. Well, once you've actually built your expansion, then we'll look at um, changing the ramp out. Okay. It's a little bit like working on a boat, working on this trailer. Um, well, considering I've got my truck up on moorings, I'd say it's probably quite similar over here. Well, it's more the constant rocking motion. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the similarity from my end. Well, just make sure you're keeping an eye out for stray icebergs. Oh, interesting. You've, uh... Abandon all wheels, and hope. Yep, uh, we've given up on wheels, we're going to use rails from now on. Like a sled? And an elaborate system of pulleys. I have always wanted to build a pulley in Space Engineers. What? Yeah. Well, because subgrids don't damage themselves, you could actually build a, pil a pulley over a 5x5 five five large grid wheel. Quit being serious with my facetiousness. <laughs> You're throwing me off my game. And make like a chain out of uh, rotors and blast door blocks. What's the plan so far? Well, I'm lowering the center of mass and I'm expanding the wheelbase. That's the first step. Uh huh. Uh, then I'm going to make a drilling arm. A drilling arm? Yep. Like rotor based? Yeah. Okay. Uh, advanced rotor? Um. I don't know how those work, so I'm going to just use a regular rotor. Well, I, to be honest, you're probably actually choosing the right thing to do anyway. Um, that doesn't sound likely. <laughs> well, the trouble with the size of the vehicle you're working with is that if you were to use an advanced rotor, you'd not really have space for it. Ah. Because advanced rotors only have the large conveyor ports on them. Oh, I see. You'd then need either a, co a cargo container on each side or a conveyor junction, the large conveyor junction blocks on each side. So you've effectively got something that's seven blocks wide and your vehicle is only currently now seven blocks wide. Uh. So you could do it and it might make some things simpler. Uh, the challenge you're going to have with a small rotor is the transfer from the drills to the actual cargo system um hmm 
Well, we could use a, a hopper like you used for the, uh, the connector you got over here. Yeah? Uh, Otherwise, I don't know. get up. I'm going for a walk. I'll see you later. What? <laughs> uh, sure. Oh man, it's real dark over here. Have you turned your lights on? No. <laughs> How far away is your thing you're picking up? Is that, is, that is what I'm assuming you're doing. How did you know? Because you just walked off randomly. And you will only ever do that for treasure. Apparently my randomness is too predictable. Pretty much. Pretty much. And you decided to run instead of fly because you would faceplant? Oh, that and because I don't seem to have a hydrogen bottle on me. Ah. That's not wise. So I'm mm. skyrimming my way there instead. Ah. <laughs> it's up a bit of a mountain, is it? Mm. It was on the other side of a mountain, it seems. Let's just go two like this. I think that'll be a bit better. Also make the thing a bit flatter, which will fit this missile launching system better. And also allow me to slightly asymmetrically place an antenna. Hmm? Well, I'm just trying to think about the antenna placement on this missile. But how can something be slightly asymmetric? It's either asymmetric or it's not. Well, it's asymmetric from one point of view, but it still maintains symmetry from another, another plane. Uh, it only removes one plane of symmetry. So that's slightly asymmetrical? Is it not? <laughs> I guess it depends on how many dimensions you exist in. Yeah. Let's go with some. What? Empty. You got all the ones you could have. The uranium fell out and I grinded it. Oh. Rats. But it's okay because I'd already emptied it so there was only 0.01 uranium ah, in it. That doesn't matter then at all. You want to make a GPS marker for me? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Capac. It's very dark. I could head for the irony hole, but I don't know if that's the right direction. I uh, will give you a GPS marker. Out of my way, tree! Alrighty. I think that should be everything I need for that missile. Now, let's do this the easy way. Control panel welders. Missile printer. Save. On. Oh, I'm gonna need to go mine some magnesium, I think. Magnesium, you say? Yeah. Off and thrusters. Off. Cool. And then it rotates up when they're all built. And locks there. Ish. Yeah. Now, because there's going to be a Rudolph, it has to get the Rudolph colors. What, red and brown? Uh, red and black. Black? Yeah. I've never seen a black reindeer. Yeah. He's I really think that looks awesome. pretty cool. Distinctive geological features. Somebody should really send a survey team. Alrighty, let's set up this advanced rotor 3. Don't do anything until I can get my truck to a safe distance. It'll be fine. Yeah, I can't possibly imagine any way it could go horribly wrong. Uh, you're too precious. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's some alternate dimension out there where everything exploded horribly. Uh, probably. Through no fault of my own. Give me the stuff that I need, box. What? What's going on? Oh. Nothing. What did you... Your inventory was full when you were trying to get stuff, wasn't it? No. So what was it? <sighs> I was pressing the key combination to put everything in the box rather than the key combination to get the stuff I need out of it. <laughs> so I was seeing the message. <laughs> but not reading the message. <laughs> well done. Oh, nuts. I forgot to blueprint the thing. What's the happy haps, cappy caps? What? 
What does that even mean? I don't know. It just came to mind. You're, you're losing your space marbles. Yeah, I think so. Hanging out with you tons, tends to do that to me. Well, can't just blame it on me. Sure I can. It's what I do all the time. All right, now we're good. Wrote it down. Well on. Let's order up some goodies. Do you still have an ore detector on your ship, or did that get destroyed? Um, it got destroyed, didn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't currently have an ore detector. Alrighty. Um, are you mobile? Is your vehicle mobile? Uh, yeah. Uh, all of it. Well, the front bit's detached, so you can you can borrow it if you want. I was more going to move the big vehicle. What? Oh, that's well, right, I haven't done this. I okay, need to do the, this. The trailer is not mobile. And brake on and off. Alright, I need to, so I need to be careful. Quite. Ah, glorious blue. Thing from which all of our weapons are made. Uh, need a whole bunch of stuff. Oh. Yeah, that's a problem with me moving everything. Kinda. Oh wait, I might have some stuff in here. Ooh. If it weren't night, I'd be tempted to uh, have a go at that attacking that mobile drilling platform with my missiles. Mm. It's too dark at night. Got a fair bit of silicon, fair bit of nickel, not much iron, no magnesium. So really, it's just the iron and magnesium we need. And how much? How long does our power last? Three hours of power. That is a problem. What's the problem? We only have three hours of power left while the refinery is running. Oh, do we need some more uraniums? We will, yes. I might have a bit. Let me see. I've got... That's... I've got about five on the trailer. And... Two in the truck. Mm, so that's a little bit, but... We still probably need to go and shoot down some more drones and uh, reclaim the uranium, shall we say? I'm hoping that this half block will be enough space that we'll be protected from the grinder, the welder's area of effect. I'm suspicious it may not be. Go back, do you want to test something for me? Uh, it does it involve in uh, in implosives? No. And I'm not particularly fast. What, what are we doing? Um, can you stand somewhere for me? Well, are you gonna shoot me? No. Mm, sounds like you're setting up some kind of firing squad. Can you stand on these conveyor junctions? Uh, okay. Alright, just stand right there. Did you booby trap them? Tell me if this gets hot. What? Does it get hot there? It got purple. But did it hurt? Not that I can tell. Can, you, my, can my, you walk through the little corridor out the back? My fingers are tingling a bit. <laughs> can you walk through the corridor out the back? Corridor? Yeah, there's a corridor around the back. Around here? Oh. Through here? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Sweet! Cool, thank you. I wasn't sure if the welders would kill you. You didn't want to test it yourself. <laughs> Correct. Typical. <laughs> If you were in my shoes, would you have wanted to test it yourself? Of course. Really? I always test my experiments on myself first. I don't want to endanger people unnecessarily. Unless it's entertaining. Hence why I was wanting to endanger you. Endangering you is always entertaining. Hmm. How can I add some weight to something? What do you want to add weight to? I just want to counterbalance some heavy things. Okay, uh, where are you over here? How about a counterbalance on the rotor arm itself? Okay. We could do a little bit of that, but then if we also place some uh, gyroscopes set on override on the vehicle, vehicle as well, that should resist some of the tipping force. Okay. Um, but gyroscope 
The other thing to do is, even though we don't have the parts to manufacture them, when you place mass blocks, um, the artificial mass blocks, they'll generate fake mass because they're very heavy with components. Right, well, I'll start with the gyroscope and I'll see how that goes. So what I was thinking is we can probably just quickly do these as well. What? What? Dad? Hmm. Maybe that's a problem with doing that. <laughs> Maybe it is. Could probably get away with one though. Um, it's still very tippy. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna tip back. Er. I think it was already on the verge of being tippy. Oh. What? Here we go. Fixed. Mm. Alright, I will try the gyroscope and if are I these need- these pistons at max extension? No. Can we lift them up to where they are? What? Why? What are you doing? I asked you here for advice, not to try to tip my thing over and then extend my pistons. Man, this putsy guy really extends my pistons. Well, what I was thinking is we could place them underneath. What? The mass blocks. Uh, I guess. Like, through the middle where you can't see them. Because mm. I figured you'd be upset if you could see them. I don't know that it'll do enough, but at least it'll do something. So... Look, it's almost ready. Oh, come back. Before you... Okay, if you want to help, set that gyro on override, because I don't know how to do that. Okay, so... You could actually probably do it... F we can actually probably do it from build vision. If I can select it, which I can't. All you have to do is select the gyroscope and toggle override with everything on zeros. And then it will try and keep the vehicle stable. Okay. Um, what I was thinking was, if instead of this arm being made out of armor, you make it out of piping, you could actually have it so that there's a side pipe that comes out and ejects into the pot when it's down, and then you won't have a problem of the drills getting really heavy. Is, is Are the drills further forward than they absolutely need to be? Uh, I put them this far forward because I think they'll need that much clearance to get back over the connector. I don't think they need that much. I mean, they could probably be a block closer. They could probably be two blocks closer. I reckon you can go two blocks closer, which will make your lever arm shorter. And if you have your drills placed side to side, let's just grind those off. What? That is 1000% off center. What? Oh. <laughs> It is too. This is not the asymmetry you're looking for. Well, uh, it's still functional though. Yeah, Sorry. okay, that's not too bad. Because we won't be able to angle it down if we wanted to dig a tunnel or something. Well, the area of effect of the drill heads, you actually will. Because if you were drilling like this, you'd oh. be digging a deep hole in the ground. Okay. So you're mostly going to be operating with the drills probably in... Let me just move it to... Probably about there. Okay. Let me just set up these wheels. Now I did something silly with your... With this thing last time. Um, hmm. Oh, Actually... Do you want to be able to control the wheels on your truck? What? Like on this thing from the truck? Yeah, but this thing's going to get completely remodeled. Well, the reason I asked that is... Um, with the current setup, I didn't realize this last time, but the subgrid wheel control skip script can't control through connectors. Right. So if you wanted to connect, control this truck, and why does it... Oh, yeah, it does need a connector on both ends. Um, you should replace these connectors with a advanced rotor. Uh, what? Well, because then cargo can transfer between the two, and you can lock onto it using the rotor instead of using the connectors and then you'll be able to control all the wheels advanced rotor yeah but won't that be all twisty yeah but you just lock it there we go so that's the connection for this bit I think it looks kind of cool too you're using the piston as a drill rest <laughs> it doesn't seem very safe in fact it's probably terribly unsafe but I'm okay. just I'm not actually doing that right now <laughs> yeah I think this works what what happened to the 
loading ejector. It's on the arm. Have a look. Uh, are you sure that's going to work? Pretty confident, because it's the same setup on the truck. And it goes all the way over the top? Yeah, I just tested. that. It went right up past the cockpit. Hmm. It, it's surprisingly uh, not horribly functional. Dysfunctional, I should say. Where are you going? Just having a little drive around. Get back here! So what are you going to name this new vessel? Luck. Hmm. So I was told I should name it the Caterpillar. The Caterpillar, eh? I mean the Centipede. The Centipede, eh? Yeah. It does look a bit centipede -y. Although, with these big horns on the top. It's, uh... I don't know. I'll finish the tank and we'll see how how it's looking then. Okay. Until then, we shall call it the centipede. The human centipede. No, don't go there. What? We're humans and we built it. Oh. I don't know what you're complaining about. Oh, come back. Not cool. Whoa, what was that? Me going over a really bumpy patch. Oh, I heard a really weird sound. It was like a... Sounded like a space whale or something. Oh, this looks a bit steep. And rough. Oh. What are we doing looking for rocks? Yep. So I'm trying to get us oh. out of this valley. Oh. And this yeah, keep like hearing woo, woo, woo noise. Is it the sound of the wheels? It doesn't sound like a wheel. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, I promise. This is very hairy. Yeah, it was never going to be anywhere nice to drive up out of here, but... Oh, find the trees. Reasonable. That was actually pretty smooth. I don't know what you were complaining about. Yeah. Okay. I'm on the lookout for a boulder. Yep. Looking for Boulder, Colorado. South Park? <laughs> uh, maybe. Denver. Well, uh, I mean, you are very similar to a character from South Park. I don't think I know. Oh, there's a rock um, off to the left. 30 degrees. Aha. Uh -huh. Well spotted. What's it got? Please have iron. Iron would be really Looks helpful. Looks pretty irony. Yay! Ah, uh, lucky. Right. Deploy the elevatron. Alrighty. Deploying. Cool. Disengaging lock. Do you want to hop in the minor cockpit? Uh, sure. Okay. Oh. Jeez. Deploying drill arm. I'm uh, just trying to get the height right. Okay, tell me when you want me to move in. Move in! Cool. Oh, I need to set up the sorters. Haven't done that. Engage retro reflective panels. Reflectors on. Drills on. Okay, it's digging stuff. It's ejecting something at the bottom, but I can't see what it is because there's too much smoke. Looks you like need rocks. to reverse a little bit. Okay. This is actually working. <laughs> oh no, diamonds! Oh no, uh, nuts. See, I asked you if that would work, and you said yes. I thought it would. I parked, and I've got a an unknown signal. I'm gonna go get it. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Ah, stinging adversary. Oh no. Uh, let's just make sure the turrets are on. Um, I don't... Can you see it? I think it might have detected me. Oh, I can see it, but I don't... I can't see the base. It is coming in. Oh no, it's gone. Is it headed for you? I can't see the marker anymore. Oh. Neither can I. I can still see the mining operation. Uh, it must have crashed. 
Mm. Yeah, seeing the mining operation site, that's why it spawned. As soon as you can see an enemy base, you will get spawns of nasty drones. And they, the drones head straight for players. They don't head for anything else. Or player controlled drones they seem to head for as well. It's working! It's working! Great. <laughs> now we gotta deal with some bulba. Whenever you get in, you take control. Oh, okay. Oh. And you just slam right into the rock. Alright, I'm gonna go take a nap. Oh dear. What? I think the drill's got too heavy. Making lots of clanky noises. There's some iron on the ground here. And something's making weird noise. Oh, that's the ejector. Mm -hmm. Alright, nap time. Nap time? Yep. <laughs> We're gonna go... <laughs> You're gonna go sleep under a tree. Yeah. Oh, you just set me up perfectly for the thumbnail for this episode. It'll be the thumbnail of my single player survival. My first episodes, which is a dead capac under a tree. Great. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thanks for that. Well, you're gonna start doing something or are you just gonna lie under that tree old? Oh, oh. you're throwing rocks everywhere. Stop that! <laughs> I can hear that from over here. <laughs> well, get off your lazy butt and help. I'm waiting for you to reconnect. Why? Because I'm going to make a video. Of what? I'm going to make one of those 10 hour long YouTube videos. What? 10 hours of an astronaut sitting in a field. <laughs> and then sometime right in the middle of it, I'm going to put the footage of you coming out, drilling some rocks, putting the drill up, dropping rocks everywhere, and then ducking back with the thing. <sighs> of course you are. Whoop. Oh, that's so cool. So where was that base? Uh... I'm not sure what direction it was. I think it was back that way. Oh well, never mind. I want to do something else right now. Because uh, I realize we have an opportunity to do it. What? Are you going to reconnoiter with one of your missiles? No, I'm going to shoot. I'm going to attempt to shoot down with one of my missiles. Uh, shoot down what? There is a transport courier up there. It's flying away from us. I know. Uh, Alright, I am flying. What? What? You gotta warn me. Wait, I can't see the things anymore. Yeah, it just disappeared. I was just about to tell you. Ah! But then you launched a missile without giving me any warning. <laughs> oh. Which direction were you when you... Okay, you see where the boulder and where the base are? I think the direction I went to go get the thing was uh, towards the back of the base. So if you head directly behind the base. Oh, mining operation site spotted. Yep, that's the one. All right, get your spectator cam over there because that's what I'm going to attack. I mean the side where I can't see you approaching from. Yep, because the side I'm going to hit. Did I hit? Uh, it looked like you went flying past it. But did I do any damage? Uh, I thought I saw flames there. You took out one of the anti-personnel gun turrets. Oh, cool. Uh, and did a little bit of block damage. Okay, now what? Um, we attack. On foot. Uh, no, you, 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 that did crap. Provide a moving target, that's what we do. What the? I turned them off. Oh. Whoa, what the? Something just exploded on the trailer. It's getting hit. Alright, it's gone down. Hmm. Oh man. 
I'm not getting a heads up display marker for that base, but we must be closer to it because we this is where the the drone came from. Well, do we want to take on more drones or? Do uh -huh. we... This is your rodeo. You're the one who wanted to test fire the missiles. I feel like it was somewhat successful. Um, I could try. I could try and launch a couple more and see if we can take out the. Um, all of the bases turrets. Oh, there's a transport courier. And a spirit of Le Bond now. What? Let's go to the transport courier. What? You're gonna try firing three at once? No. I mean, I could could get you to fire one. The spirit of Le Bond seems like it's a bit big. Transport courier seems a much smaller target. Although I wonder if anything will be left when it hits the ground. I could do some reconnoitering first before I take it on. Well, it's, it's gonna be flying away soon. Yeah, I'm flying towards it. I'm 3.8 k's out. And I lost signal. What? No! I increased the range of all of the antennas. What the heck? I lost the missile. Uh, it's still here. I'm still tracking it. What the heck? Um, this doesn't make any sense. Oh, there's fleeting rival coming in. Err... Dang it. I don't know what's going why that why I lost control. I reckon if we carefully approach this base, since it's not down in a hill and we'll end up being too close, we might be able to pick it off at a distance. Um Speaking of picking things off at a distance. What? Your missile just seems to be hovering. Yeah. High in the atmosphere. Yeah. I didn't create I I don't know what to do about that. Well, if we head towards it, won't you be able to regain control if it was potentially like it went outside your control range? Oh uh, yeah, I wonder if I did accidentally miss one missile and its range is set to five k's. So if we're under five k's, at, within five kilometers of it, I should be able to regain control. Did you drive off without me? Oh, I didn't realize you weren't in. Jeez, how rude! I thought you were in. Uh oh, the base is on the other side of the valley. Yep, sure is. Uh oh, stinging adversary deployed. Oh. 800 meters. It's coming down. Oh. Alright, let's go inspect the wreck. You know, 30 meters a second is 108 kilometers an hour. Right? Oh, that's what you were doing on your phone. <laughs> well, I don't have a phone. I was using the pad that is integrated into my spacesuit. Sure. Uh, do you reckon we can make that make it up that spot straight ahead of us? Uh, maybe, but I'm not sure. Will that get us to where we want to go, or is this like a side valley? Oh, maybe. I suppose we should get closer then, shouldn't we? It it looks like it ramps up pretty smoothly, like directly towards the Yeah, but I, I, I really want to attack it from the plateau, not from another hill. Yeah, yeah. Because then we can pick it off at a distance, and we can try and pick off the turrets, and then see if we can actually salvage anything from this one before it blows up. Oh, tree! Whoa! Trees! Whoa! The I know, I can see them inside the base. <laughs> uh, do, do we really have to attack a mining operation site? So can't we just find like a nice cafe or something? <laughs> have a San Pellegrino? What? Everything's exploding and flipping around and, and dancing merry jigs. The Space yeah. Invaders machine somehow stays upright through all of it. Yeah, it's bolted to the floor. It is? Yeah. Hmm. That explains why I was having such <laughs> trouble trying to get it to tilt for me. There's still a fair amount of terrain to... Terrain to traverse before we get there. I know. We're probably going to get there right on sunset. It does seem that way. Great, we're going to be blinded by the sun. Yeah, we are attacking from an unfortunate direction. Got visual. You can see smoke. Alright. And... We will... 
Hold there. Leading rival. Alright, let's take down the fleeting rival. Are you reloading? Oh, we're taking fire! Taking fire! Oh, turret's down! You're the last turret! Yeah, I'm down too. Oh, okay, get out! Rifles! Rifles! I'm trying! Ah! I got ejected! I think its gun is down. Yep. Alright, I think it's just hovering there. Jeez, can you repair oh, the turrets? Watch out, we're getting we're getting close to the range of the mining site. Are we moving? Well, I don't know, but it was like 600... That's you moving! What? I was running towards the adversary, and we yeah. were getting closer oh, to the you base. Oh, mean, you mean the adversaries, the fleeting rivals, close? What? I don't know. Just... Blah! Oh, I'm trying to get all of the valuable stuff out of this thing, and I can't. So it keeps trying to run away from me. I need motors. Ah, dang it. I was trying to do that delicately, and I did not succeed. Right, so we're going to approach on foot. You are? I don't know. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I'm not hearing any other plans. That is not a good idea. My plan is to pick this thing off at a distance now that we've got no drone after us. Two of its guns have been taken out. Yep. Wait, are we out of ammunition? I don't know. We have used a lot. No, we are not quite out yet. Oh, it's taken some damage. Going prone. Oh no, it blew! Stinging adversary launched. Whoa! Okay, Sting Adversary's down and the base is down. Alright, I'm headed for the base. Uh, I don't have a marker for it now though, so it's hard to see. There'll be a giant hole in the ground. What? It exploded? Yep. I witnessed it. I thought we were trying not to explode things. We were! And I struggled to get in control of our turrets in time. I didn't set them up properly on my hotbar. I should have. Aha, uh -huh, I see a crater. Oh, it's got stuff in it. Yeah, I thought I saw a chunks landing. Oh. It's just... Ow! <laughs> oh, there's our answer of, did you die this episode? How'd you die that time? I just tried to walk down the side of the crater and I just died. Oh, you fell. I was walking. Sure you were. Ooh, there's a reactor intact. Oh, do you know what's really good? Some of the turrets are the intact. Whoa. What's whoa? Things falling. Let's hack that thing, and then let's grab our ammo. Where's all the cool stuff? Exploded. It's a miracle that one of the reactors survived. What was really amazing was that as it was being taken down, it spawned the final enemy. Yeah, it was pretty metal. It's pretty cool. Probably focus on getting something that can take us up to space for a quick trip. Get some silver. Maybe even see how dangerous it is and head to the um, moon. The moon, you say? Yes, the moon.
I have noticed that our stockpiles of cheese have been getting low. Oh, the, oh dear. What? Um. Well, there's a big hole in the side of the ship, and uh, I think this is the refinery that's full of bullet holes. Oh, jeez. It is. That is a lot of bullet holes. Also, that's an unknown signal that's about to land on our head. Sweet. What? What the? What's wrong? I died. Oh, last poor cat back. I knew him well. Oh, he's gone. Okay, refinery is repaired. Man, this game can be really depressing sometimes. How so? Staring into your own dead eyes as your body <laughs> fades away like Yoda in The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, that was in Return of the Jedi. I think I'm gonna just sit here and have a cup of tea. Hang on. We're missing a spotlight. A slight challenge drinking tea through your helmet glass. Well, I got the little sippy straw inside the helmet. But... Last time I poured tea into that, it melted the tube. Mm -hmm. It might have been too hot. Mm -hmm. Hey, at least your head's on straight this time. <laughs> well, you haven't been quite as much of a pain in my neck this episode. What? Today. Well, I don't even seem to have a neck. Jeez, what happened? I must have been in some horrible car accident. Oh wait, I've been in multiple horrible car accidents. What am I talking about? Hey, you've survived all of my accidents. How many trees did you hit? I don't know. If 15? it's more than one... It's probably about 15. Go! <sighs> uh, There's another two. <laughs> I can't see them at all until we hit them. I can see very, very Are little the in front of spotlight's even on? Yeah. They just don't project a very wide cone. Oh, hit one with the trailer. Oh, hit another one with the front. And another one. <sighs> oh, riding straight over that one. Whoa, what's that? I see a fire. I see a fire? There's something glowing orange down there. What? No, there's oh. my unknown signal down there. Is that where we're driving to? Yeah. Uh. What? What? You just drive off on the wild goose chase, smashing through Ooh, trees. I got a rainbow welder. Well, on the note of me getting a rainbow welder, I think we might call it a night. So next time. Capac's going to work on his tank, and I'm going to work on getting us to space. True fact. So there's that, and plenty more to come, and we will see you then. See you, everybody. That's a pretty cool view. Mine's better. <laughs>